I find like a level up anyway. Alamamu. Here we are. Babana? Like you mean papayas? Tell you what, I'm starving. Oh. Let's see a babana split. Really? They're yeah, that good, huh? Wow. Too flipping right they are. This place was built on the babana trade. That's tasty fruit. Okay, let's try some. Uh, before we go to B B Babana's, though, we should try and find this Rashi. Is it what Key K here for at all? Right. We should ask around and find out if anybody knows him. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, do you know where I can find uh, Great Sage Rashid? The Great Sage Rashid? It's a long time since he uh, he called by that name. These days, you better ask around. Uh, Better ask Rashid, the seller of Babanas. He sell Babanas? You mean he's not a sage anymore? But getting to the teacher about magic was our whole reason for coming here. You know, there's this warrior says we are after the Babanas split anyway, so we might as well stop by and see what was what, is it? I guess. Let's go see Rashid. Then I say, he's up a bonus now, I'm guessing. Oh, what's this place? I can, I can, I'll go I'll get, get that later. And that's, um, the guild. Oh, no bounty, okay. No errands. I guess we gotta go to Rashid for. Rashid might be a uh, Street Fighter 6 or Street Fighter 5, actually. Rashid the Will. Oh, clothes. Oh, uh, let's see. I might wait. Well, we'll, we'll see, though. I'm gonna buy it right now. Oh, Esther. A new party member. Excuse me, are you Mr. Rashad? Yes, I am. Mr. Rashad, sir, I need you to teach me magic. I need you to teach me the most powerful spells there are, so I can defeat Shadar. Defeat Shadar? You? Yep. Yes, sir. Your journey has been wasted. I no longer practice the magic arts. Huh? But why not? I thought you were one of the four great sages who knows everything there is to know about magic. It matters not what I was. I use magic no more. Oh, she... man. What do you want? Oh! Who are you? Cheevers. The poor thing's broken hearted, looks like. Hmm. Should I stay the peace of the night? It was my fault. I defied him and to punish me. He did this. That is why I fight no longer. I cannot risk my child's life. I will not. We must accept our fate and go out our days in peace. Mr. Rashad, sir, you're wrong. She wouldn't want this. Who? She's not in pain because a piece of her heart was stolen. It's because you gave up fighting. Because you gave up on everything. That's why she's in pain. Who? You are sure of this? Yes, I am. I see. I see. 
see now that you would say anything to be missed. Be gone! You made me a mistake. I wasn't trying to. Oh. Well, he wasn't wrong. It looks like Shadar's stolen a part of the poor dad's heart. And we have to help her. We have to make her heart whole again. Nah, looks like I said this is different. Huh? Her heart's not just broken, it's closed. Closed? What does that mean? It's like this, see? She's not just had a part of her heart stolen, she's closed it up tight too, to keep the rest safe like. So, before we can think about replacing what's missing, we'll have to open it back up again, innit? And how do we do that? We go to your world. If we find whoever she's connected to over there, we can work out what's going on with her here. So, we head over your way and find her soulmate. Alright. Let's do it. Wait, go back to your world it is. Gateway. I think I know who your host for soulmate, Stary Mary. I think I know. Where do we start the search, eh? You remember how this works, Ollie Boy. It's all about spotting the similarities. Somewhere around here is who's similar to young Esther. How you know her name? She told she tell you. It's it's somewhere now what girl you know. Girls? I don't know. I don't really talk to girls. I only really talk to Phil. Yikes, yucky. Well, that's no good, is it? How are you we gonna do this there? I'm pretty sure there's somebody that she remind me of. Can't put my finger on it, but never mind. If the brain works, a leg work will. Let's go show around the town and see if we spot Esther's soulmate that way she we shall. Let's okay, Mr. Drippy. Let's go that find that girl. I think I know who that is. I already know. I need to go to an end. Maybe, maybe I might, um... I, I might go to an end we'll go back to uh, Alan Mamu. But I know, I, I, I know who, they, I know who it is. It's on my head. I can tell y'all. But y'all play y'all all, all right, all right. Y'all already know. I can't go to here. No, I like the music though. <laughs> but when we um get to the field, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start grinding. Well, definitely, we defeat some monsters. Remember the girl who was staring at us? Oh, hey, doggy. Oh, invisible wall, okay. Oh, here. Hey, I just thought, what is it, Ma? You, you having a nice time thinking about girls, is it? No, uh, no, it just, it just, when I came here with Phil, there was a girl who was always staring at us in her window. From a window, sounds like a proper shrieking violet. I think so. That's the winner up there. Her. Oh, that's her, Mr. Drippy. Pippa heck, Ollie boy. You didn't think you of her straight away. She is an image of her, ma. Oh, uh, who? Who you think? Uh, who you think you blockhead the great sage daughter? Is it? 
the one who obviously flipped the image soulmate. Is that is that obvious? I haven't noticed. Sure, he had good eyes, Mr. Drippy. She only in the window for a second. Understand me? No, never. Uh, the sharp eye of a fairy boy spot her and speck a dust in the head of a pen. I could. Anyway, it's her. No mistake. Let's go barge in. Uh, walk on the way into her bedroom. Uh, okay. I'm guessing. You go to her house. Oh, this is like, this is like an air well. Uh huh? There's no good, no answer. There's no answer. It's something that matter, dear. There's nobody home, you know. And I need to speak to the girl that lives here. You're afraid of Myrtles? Oh, oh, you poor dear. You must be awfully worried about her. Uh huh? Oh my, have you heard? Well, just between you and I, things haven't been going so well for Myrtle's family lately. How come? Her father works every hour uh, each day, every day, nothing but work, 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 never, he never comes ho home anymore. Jesus, that's that's terrible. You work here long, long hours and never came home? That's, that definitely sucks. Such a shame, Rusty was always a devoted father, but sometimes something has happened to him, he changed. I heard from he hear him shout at them through the under the walls. I don't know how poor Betty copes. Let leave Myrtle young let alone young Myrtle, such a shame. Betty is Oh, that's right. She's Rusty's wife and every bit as devoted as him as she always was. While well, only in the morning I heard her um, promising to bring him lunch down to the garage. All the love she pulled to the, to those sandwiches. Oh man, got little sandwiches. It's enough to break your heart. Why I ain't swell enough just thinking about it. Such a poor soul, poor poor Betty. Half a half of a mind to tell the rusty Cartwright just how lucky he is. Yeah, I was. I, you know, a lot of people like uh, their wife cook cook for them. But sometimes you got, sometimes you got to cook yourself. I mean, that's a good wife right there. And man can cook as well. He can cook for his wife, you know. So like he he loves. Jeepers. Don't just listen to me gossiping on and on. Do ignore me, dear. I'm just a silly old woman. Tell Myrtle to uh, say hello to Myrtle for me, will you? Crikey, sounds like this are uh, none too rousing in the Cartwright household, eh? Hey, it's a drippy. We cannot leave her like that. We gotta help her. We had to help Myrtle. That's Edith said that down, Ollie boy. She's not coming out to chat. We're not getting it unless we go and, and magically open the door. Oh, yeah, that's right. We should use magic to open the door. I'm the only one who can know how. how. I'm the only one who can go to, there and speak to her. You sure you want to be doing this, Ma? Ma? When Mom died, I, I could have, I could have taken over the your world when I thought I was alone. And you had helped me. I'll be all alone right now. Yeah, you. That's true. You're right. When his Mom died, he took him to his world. That's why we got to help Myrtle. If we don't, she will be left staring at the window forever, all alone. That's justification enough for a bit of breaking and entering in my book. Let's just get in there. Okay, Mr. Drippy. I reckon that door will open with a bit of magic, Ollie boy. You know the spell, you know to unlock doors, is it? Yep. Spring lock. 
Uh, it won't open. That's pro uh, probably weird. A rubbish look at a uh, lot look like that should be probably open. Done it easily, peasy. Uh -uh. The wrong Mr. Drippy. It's a door, ma. There's an evil power uh, particular in your spot. I did uh, feel it was repelled by a malevolous force. Uh, repel Jeepers. Must be the girl, isn't it? She's the soulmate of the sage daughter, after all. You think? So what do you we do? I'll tell you what we do. We carry, carry on trying to get by the front door. It is exactly polite, just barge it into people's house anyway. That's right. I would guess we got to find some other way. Yeah, that's breaking the internet. You'll go to jail. And that could be pretty. Oh! What's that? P, hey, baby. What is it? Uh, what's going on, Ollie boy? Maybe P didn't know something. Eh, what the fuck the heck is going on? Oliver, you had to, you had, to, you had to go in there. It opened. How the flip? Did you do another spell? Was it or something? No, it wasn't me. It was P. Is she gone? Huh? Where is she? Never mind that. Let's go in there, shall we? There's a desert stress uh, up there, Ma. I don't know. Uh, who are you? My name is Oliver. Don't worry, I'm not crazy. I'm a kid from right here in Odeville. Just like you. I know. I've seen you. You have? I'm sick. I can't leave this room. Oh, man. If I go outside, it hurts. So all I can do is look out at the world from my window. That's why they call us Daddy Mary. Shh. Don't worry, man. No one can hear me by you. I can talk as loud as I want. Yes. That's why they call me Scary Mary. Huh? Can, he, can she hear me? That's what they call me around here. But you knew that already, huh? Uh, I... I bet you think I'm weird, don't you? No, I don't. It's okay. I don't mind. You should go before my father comes home. Uh... Like you, like you said, it's a drippy. It's always like Myrtle and Esther are the same person. Is it uh, theirs? Must be twins, Mom. I knew they were soulmates at the minute I laid eyes on them. But she is a broken heart. There's something else stopping her from getting better. Must be her parents. Her family is. And that old gossip and believe, yeah, sounds like her folks isn't getting get along too well. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, I want to, well, my, my bad. But there's a family squad of really kind of things we will get mixed up in, Ollie boy. Maybe not, but we got, we got to help Myrtle. Family support is everything. That's true. You're right. Well, let's you, let's see you put up like that. Go on, let's help the poor dad and next stop, Rusty Shaw. Let's go, Mr. Drippy. Yeah, but that's kind of sad. 
You know, sometimes family, it takes a toll on you. And this must be Rusty's shop, uh, Rusty's garage. I got that feeling in my old lats about the you best make sure you're good and ready to go in. Okay, Mr. Drippy. Oh, Dark Magic. This must be Rusty's garage, Ollie boy. And must be here over there by, by there. I guess, huh? Excuse me, sir. Are you Mur Myrtle's father? I can't even talk to you about her. AC, I'm busy. Beat it, kid. What in a squirrelet ar around him? Can it be? That's Betty. Honey, I bought you your lunch. Not again. I'm, I'm not hungry. But honey, if you don't eat, you'll get sick. I said I'm not hungry. Oh my God. Jesus, what's wrong with him? I guess he's eating. Oh, no, I can't blame him because he's eating. Look, he, he, that dark energy, that's why. Honey, just look at, your, your, uh, uh, just look at after yourself, please. Poor Betty. I uh, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna blame him because he's 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 possessed. Uh, so that's Myrtle's mom, huh? You too. You get out of here before I throw you out. But sir, we Druggy, look at his eyes, broken as as head. His heart is. He's broken heart, but he's not from my uh, from my, your world, Mister Mister Drippy. Let's uh, let's worry about that later. For now, we know. Well, the problem is, we need to miss uh, Rusty's broken heart, is it? Yes, we do. Don't worry. We'll go on. We want to help you. Eh? You ought to be kidding me. A flipping nightmare? Now we're in for it. A nightmare? You mean like a bad dream? Nah, I'm uh, much worse. A nightmare is an evil spirit that lashes onto the a broken heart. See that black misty and stuff? That's what you get. Uh, that's what you know. The mist is getting darker. That must be only way uh, one that isn't good news. Oh, shoot. I guess we gotta fight it. Russian nightmare, avoid a kindness. Go. Hard, hard. Smash it. Oh, shoot. Nice. Oh, 
Oh. Cut loose. Slash this. Cut loose. Oh man. Locked in. Fireball! Fireball! I block. Smash it. used to it now. Oh. I want to try that. Got him. Level up. Honey. Betty, stay away from me. It's all still broken. Of course it is. We got rid of the nightmare, mom. Made his heart as a whole mother's uh, mother's problem. But listen, Jiffy, these nightmares, just what are they? They're sort of like beasties, only they are born from a broken heart, but they latch on them, uh, sort of possessing them, see? And Shatari's behind the nightmares, too. Look at him, Ollie boy. Him and Rashad are like peas from the same pot, is it? But uh, Shatan's uh, done is he got a better, uh, better uh, Rashi over your world by attacking his soulmate over by here in your world. That's just awful. He's attacking people in my world now. This is like if he we, we didn't admit, we didn't, he might be taken over by another nightmare. We need we need to sort his it is out, Holly boy. Just what he uh, was like before. Is it is it pretty obvious? That means he's missing a kind uh, man size helping of kindness. Kindness. Oh, 
That's right. Any more floor with milk of human kindness spring to my Ollie boy. A really kind person, me. <laughs> oh, what's up, Supernova? How's it going? The Supernova, what's going on? I'm gonna give you a, uh, a shout out. How's it, how's it going? We play some Dino Kuni. Going well. Hold on. Oh, that's a uh, raw one. There we go. How's Ultra Rumble? I saw you play this uh, Bakugo. I might, I might get back on that game, though. Who knows? I, I, I tried to, but I'm not that good at it. Yeah, it was fun. But keep keep, it, keep it the good work, though. I saw your TikTok videos, and, you know, I know, I know you made Eater, and I, I saw you play in Bakugo, but when I play uh, Ultra Rumble, I lost. Uh, 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 I mean, I get some, I get chaos every now and then, but just that uh, that game is sweaty. If you, I mean, if you have a good teammate, that is, because I, uh, I, I may, be, I mean, actually, I may, I think it was, I, I, I use Deku though mostly, but I use. Endeavor, there it is. Um, I used a bit of All Might. At first, during the beta, he was a bit overpowered. That's not just me. So, well, I, I know they tore him down, though. I also used Mount Lady. I used her. Then the, the Submit guy. Then, then there's uh, Dobby. I used Dobby as a. As, uh, that, was my, that was my main for, for a while. But I'm definitely going to get back over there. I know there's more content coming out, so hopefully I might return someday. I know it's been a minute, but anyways, let's get back to Nina Cooney. Honey, oh honey, are you okay? Take, talk to me, please. Well, well, something uh, the day you're looking at uh, falls itself down, right? Or y'all store stuff. That there's luck, I guess. Huh? Uh, well, excuse me, mom. Oh, are you, aren't are, are they, son? Yeah, that's uh, that's right. I had a thing to ask you. Miss Conrad, can I borrow uh, a little bit of your kindness? Oh, sorry, dear. I don't think I, I don't quite, I needed to make Miss, uh, Mr. Conrad better, please. I need it so that I can help her. I don't think the, the, idea, the first idea was you were talking about, but instead that a smallest chance of helping my husband, then I would do it. Thank you so much, Miss Carwright. Take heart. I give her some kindness. Give her a little love. <laughs> See, I got kindness. I like to. Uh, what do you just do? I feel it sound warm as a tidy. You mean, it, you mean it works, did it? Give it to Mr. Rusty. Yeah, dude, that's, a, that's a good lad, okay. Betty, just leave me alone, will you? Come on, mom. Here with the kindness, okay. Give heart. Give a little love. Warm and generosity. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, what are you doing? Uh, honey, oh, honey, Betty, what I'm doing here? Did you do something with your hair? Oh, Rusty, you look very handsome yourself, honey. Tiny, it works. A hey, martial bliss. There, uh, there's lovely. Excuse me. Oh, do you think you're doing? There's no time to be interrupt interrupted. Let's leave them at to be at it and go to tell Myrtle everything back to normal for our folks, shall we? I guess you're right. Let's go.
We did it. Spray a little kindness. I need to go to an ear. Maybe my might, might level up the. I don't think I, I know where I'll go back to the other world. I need to go to an ear. Yes, we will. It kind of reminds me of the, um, the anime where that person was a meek and, and going outside. I remember that, that scene. You can do it, Myrtle. Count by day. Myrtle! You're outside. I'm in the door. Uh -huh. I actually don't a couple though. Uh, yeah. I'm happy for you, Myrtle Biz. Me too. I cannot do it without you, Oliver. I'm going to go outside every day for now or I'll go to school again and meet new people and buy new clothes. It's so strange. I was scared to come outside, but now I feel brave. I feel like I could do anything. Listen to her mom. All of a sudden, uh, she got more courage than you. She could shake and stick at. I feel like it come from the way over by her ear. She does, huh, Mr. Drippy? There's somebody, somebody in Alamo who could really need some courage. Nice ticking boy. I ain't drop a um uh Myrtle's newfound bravery just we just kicks uh, kickstart the young Esther's recovery. Is that something the matter, Oliver? Myrtle, I know a girl like you and she's gonna do the same uh, something terrible. I, you're so brave, I want you to know if you give some of your, your courage to this girl to help her and to help her family. Of course. What do you, you, how do you, how do we do that? We use magic. I know the, the spell. Magic, you're an interesting boy, Oliver. Sure, go right ahead. All right, close your eyes. Like this. All right, let's take some courage. Like the Calvary line, he want courage. Thank you. 
this is an interesting uh, mechanic. I, it feels so warm. My heart, it feels warm. That means the magic word. Thank you so much, Myrtle. Now my friend can finally start to get better. I'm glad. Uh, 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 Radio Audio, we gotta get some courage to deliver. Is it, let's get going. Sure, Myrtle, I had to go now. Wish your friend luck for me, would you, Oliver? Hope she gets better soon. Thanks, Myrtle, I will. See you around, Oliver. Gateway. <laughs> What's it in there? Hold on, before uh, let me go to it. Yeah. That's a weapon shop, so I guess we gotta go to uh, Rashid. What's the freaking in there? Oh. Oh, got some money. Oh, ice cream? Oh, I can't find no in. Ain't about to be around, one around here somewhere. That's a close shot. Oh, it don't, it don't, it's around here. Oh, well. Oh. Treasure right here, so oh well. I don't know if I, I don't know if it's wrong to use it, but oh, right, just in case, you know. There she is, Oliver. Huh? Tidy, I, that's what I thought. You gotta open her heart and back up again. You can admit it now. Don't worry, this will take a moment. I'm gonna give you some a Myrtle's courage, okay? Yeah, your heart is wide open. Just find that courage and uh, um, box your uncle. Give heart. You'll get some courage. <laughs> Oh, 
it's an old story from way back, that is, like when the world was at peace then. The three kings of our world, for I and their skillful knowledge, to create a fruit that symbolizes the way of peace. The sound of this fruit came to represent the unity of the nations of the world. How long has it now since the court of the world has come to its end? Not since the three kings got into a right old clutch of fellow players. Uh, let me come with you, Oliver. I want to help you find Shadar. Have a familiar to help me, just like you. Here, boy. Nice. Wow, you can fight with familiars too, Esther? Indeed she can. Esther talent lies in the training and her familiar, uh, familiar. She's more of a familiar keeper than a wizard, is it? Fair enough. Useful folks to the head around. There are. That's my Drugo. His name is Go 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 Go. Say hey, Go Go. Yeah, Esther. Now let's that's so let's get down to business, shall we? Remember what Oliver K for is it Rashad? Mister Drippy, I do. You wish to learn arts of the sage, do you not? Yes, sir. Then you need to spit this spell. Puppet strings. Secret ingredients. Magic lab. Pulse. Thank you, uh, Mr. Rashad, sir. I am satisfied that you don't have a lack of determination required. You came here for another world to face his law, after all. You knew about me being in another world, I mean. Huh? It was the action that you revealed your order to me. You healed Esther that I could not. But it told me that you have uh, helped her soulmate in the other world. And it called me that the world will. Uh, where a whole you could have done such a thing. So Oliver, for um, for what the other world you told me about my father, and he was the one who saved me. Yes, it's strange. It felt like I met you in a dream or something. Something. Oliver, it seems like you you are a thing that has such as you do. You must be able to help our world. You should have my aid. Thank you, sir. I won't let you down. I'll beat your dog. Perhaps you'll need to trade first. Without complete, uh, complete command of the magical arts, you cannot hope to defeat him. The four sages cannot overcome the dark gem. Merely a mere boy could do it require some more than enthusiasm alone. We were digging. He gotta have some need some need to cram a shell load of spirits under his belt in the heck. Heck of a uh, short time, is it? It did, he is. He's the kind of experience offered by the tri trials of sages. Oliver, you must undertake the trials. Where do I need to take these trials? In the north of the desert at the Temple of Trials. The Temple of Trials, you mean? I do, the home of the Supreme Sage, uh, uh, Master Familiars. You too, you have much to learn, Esther. Only with that Supreme Sage's blessing of permit to open the doors of the temple, I will accompany you. Thank you, Father. You'll be that you'll be at the trial, Oliver. I know you will. Thanks, Esther. 